Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam Solomon. For those of you uh, I don't know, I'm a staff designer here at Sales Loft. I lead design for both our platform and workflow pods. Um, and I'd like to talk about accessibility and design tokens. Uh, but before I get into that, I'd like to talk about a problem, a problem several of our customers started having around a year ago. Now, if you've been here longer than a year, you'll recognize this. This is our old brand and our old colors on our old uh, homepage. And, you know, if you logged in today, this is what you'll see. New brand, new colors uh, is largely well received. It helps position us in the market uh, for such a big project. This went off fairly smoothly. Um, but, you know, the problem is not everybody got this. Some people got something that looked like this, a bunch of gray blobs. And uh, those that got this, of a course, are users that are affected by color blindness. That's some four to five percent of the population. And um, you know, it's unfortunate. SalesLoft isn't a place that people go and waste time. It's not a travel website that's only used once or twice a year. You know, it's not a toy. SalesLoft is a, a professional tool, and the customers that use it spend two to six hours a day in it. Uh, many depend on it for their livelihoods. You know, if people aren't closing deals uh, and booking demos, then, then salespeople are struggling. And uh, that's something I take really seriously. So uh, to illustrate this problem a bit more, I have the three most common buttons we have in the application. Um, real quick in your head, you know, try and pick out which one you think is the red destructive one. And uh, hopefully you guessed right. Uh, you know, of course, in the application, the, the destructive buttons are accompanied with a label, and usually there's a confirmation delete modal or something along those lines. But you get the idea. They're very similar, and this is at 10 times the size that they are in the application. So it's not great. Um, so what do we do? Uh, one option is to do something like this. Now, I'm not talking about rebranding things entirely, but what if we change the theme? Um, now... This is potentially looking at uh, a theme, a colorblind theme for those that suffer from red, green colorblindness. And maybe that sounds great, uh, but you know, how do we actually get there? And that brings me to kind of the topic of my talk, design tokens. Um, I have a little blurb here from Adobe about what design tokens are, but essentially they're taking the, the patterns and the little subtle overarching things that already go into the design system and codifying them and creating variables from them. So you can do a lot. Uh, I'm not going to go with into all that design tokens can do because really we're worried about color here. And so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, here you can see I have a list of the top quarter. Uh, this is, I guess, the top quarter of this, uh, this theme file that I have built. Uh, this is what I've tried to do here is essentially codify uh, our... Um, our current design system. So instead, you have, instead of green 400, you have icon success. Um, you know, essentially what we're trying to do is apply meaning, labels that have meaning uh, that inherit from these colors. So when we take these and start building components, we look at something like this. Um, instead of a base green background for a button, we have action primary default. Instead of a gray base, um, border, we use border default. And hopefully the gears start turning. You can kind of see how we'll keep these tokens and replace the colors associated with them. And that's how we'll build a theme. So what this might look like in production, I've got a, a theme file that I've, uh, or a, a theme that, uh, a design file that I've built in Figma uh, that uses a default theme. This is something that should look familiar. And in the bottom right, you can kind of see the key status colors. So I'm going to go cycle through some themes and we'll see how this looks. So this is light default. This would be a protonopia theme for those that are red, green, colorblind. A tridonopia theme for those that are yellow, blue, colorblind. And maybe it's not just uh, colorblindness. Maybe I am have yellow blue color blindness, but also I have a hard time. I work in a dark room. I have a hard time staring at this bright white screen all day. Maybe I want to have a dark theme. So hopefully this kind of paints an idea of some of the possibilities that we can do here. I know I'm running up against time, so I'm going to cycle through um, one more uh, set of screens here. This is the people list, um, like default, like protonopia, like tridonopia, dark tridonopia. Um, just a couple closing uh, comments. Uh, I want to thank Andre, who's been um, 
really great. He's always a soundboard. He gets back to me quickly. He's usually, you know, can point me in the right direction if I'm unsure about something. So uh, shout out to him. And also just, I, I want to share a closing thought. You know, I've, I've stressed the importance of building an accessible platform for our customers. Um, you know, this isn't a game. We've got real people that count on our efforts, uh, that count on our efforts to make a living. So um, let's not let them down. Thank you.